John, thank you so much for what you've given us in this first half. There's just one more piece that we're going to hear before the interval. And this piece is really introducing our new music foundation, the Lantern Trust for Music. Back in 1964, Blackburn Cathedral appointed its third organist, Dr. John Bertolo, who is here with us this evening. And John stayed here at the cathedral for 18 years before travelling west uh, to the New World to go I be mean, the director of music at Trinity Church, Princeton. But during his time here, he left a phenomenal legacy in a whole variety of ways. One of which was he, together with Dr. Francis Jackson, designed and had installed our wonderful cathedral organ, uh, which has been accompanying most of the concert this evening. For those who are not organists, it is a truly amazing organ, one of the best in the country, indeed the world, as indeed most things are when they're made in Lancashire. Mm -hmm. But one of the other things that uh, Dr. John did was develop the choral tradition of this cathedral in a way that we are very blessed with even today. And what the Lantern Music Trust is trying to do is to ensure that we establish that English choral tradition for generations to come. I trained as a musician myself, I sang in a church choir, nothing like as good as our cathedral choir. My mum and dad lived seven miles away from the cathedral in Liverpool where I grew up and they thought it was too far to take me. So I sang in my local church. But just sitting there this evening and hearing our young choristers on the front row really singing their hearts out in a way that's absolutely amazing, I'm sure you agree. Let's give them a round of applause. The only ones that I with this new sound well as well. Let's give them a round of applause. But these things don't just happen. And some of the bigger foundation cathedrals around the country spend literally hundreds of thousands of pounds each year, often sending their choristers to choir schools. We don't do that in Blackburn. We draw our choristers from a whole variety of schools across the county and we fund from within. So this new musical foundation, the Lantern Trust, is here to try to ensure that the musical tradition continues. And you're all very fortunate here this evening because you're here at the launch of something new and you've all received just one little leaflet to tell you a little bit about the trust. And in the interval, that's going to take place in just a few moments time in the south transept. Uh, my colleague, Canon Gary O'Neill, is going to come round with a far more uh, informative document if you would like to find out a little bit more about the Lantern Trust and how you could help to support it. It may be also that you work for an organisation who um, has uh, community support projects and would very much like to consider uh, supporting the Lantern Music Trust, I'd encourage you to talk to those who have influence there. To launch the Trust this evening, we're going to be singing a very, very special piece, which is this next piece in the programme, Thy Word is a Lantern. And if you've read the programme already, you see that it was composed by Dr. John Bertolo back in 1999, when the Lantern Tower, which is above us here, was restored and rededicated. Uh, and this is the first time this piece has been performed for many years, and we felt that tonight it was really important that we use this piece uh, to reflect the name of the Trust, but also to reflect the sterling work that Dr. John has done over many, many years, some before him and others after him. We're now up to our eighth, I think, director of music in John Robinson, who's doing a sterling job with us now. 
but our grateful thanks go to Dr. John who composed this piece for us this evening. Let's put our hands together again for our cathedral choir and Dr. John.